if I were to put my hair in a ponytail, it'd look like this. I don't like how short it looks and how like blah it looks. It has like no life. So this here has more life. It looks longer and it looks more, you know, like happy. I don't know. For a while, I've been, I've been wanting to do this really, really quick um, hairstyle, which I have on right now, which is basically a ponytail, a very basic and ordinary ponytail with um, fringe bangs, which I don't have fringe bangs. I just kind of pulled it to the side and gave the illusion of fringe bangs. So this entire look today is an illusion. So if you guys want to see how to do this super, super, super easy illusion ponytail with illusion bangs, fringe bangs that I do not have, um, yeah, this is how. It's just when I woke up in the morning and I let my hair out because I usually sleep with my hair up all the way up, what I did do was just kind of dampen my hand with water and just kind of mess it around towards the edges of my hair um, because that's mainly where I slept on. Um, and yeah, that's it. You don't want to do this on wet hair because it's not going to come out as good. Um, so it's best to do it on those days where you don't even want to restyle your hair and um, you just kind of wake up and dampen your hair a little bit with your hands and once it dries, pull it back. So all you're going to need is these three scrunchies as I have here. There's people walking by my window. New apartment, I'm not used to it. It's weird. They're just walking by my window. And I need to have the shades open so you guys can have like good light. I don't think they can see me. This is how I'm gonna do it. First thing I wanna do is kind of play with my hair, bring it towards the front, see where I can get a kind of fringe bang effect. And once I pick out the pieces that I want and don't want, so I got this like fringy kind of look right here, right? So I'm gonna just grab it at some section. I grab towards the middle where the crown of my head is. And I'm leaving my bangs alone and grabbing right here. Loosely tying that with one scrunchy like that just like that i'm not even retying it just put it on there and let it go for the second layer you're gonna grab by the ear and on the other side leaving your bangs alone and i'm tying this So now you can see that we have one up here and two on the right under it. Now the last piece, I'm going to tie that really low, right at the bottom. So now I can basically just adjust it, adjust my ponytail. So now what I like to do is kind of pull on the sides and that creates the illusion of um, kind of a more layers I don't know like it just makes it bigger so I'm just pulling on the sides as if I'm tightening each piece to make it spread out more let me just show you guys from the side now and as you can see you can't even tell that I have um, something like three separate positions holding my hair um, because I didn't retighten it. I just placed it on my head and now it doesn't feel like it's gonna fall off or it doesn't feel loose at all. It just feels very relaxed. And yeah, I, trust me, you can go on the whole day with, it depends also on the type of scrunchies that you guys use because if you use like big ones like this, it's not gonna hold small sections of hair well. So you have to use smaller scrunchies that are like like that so this way you don't have to retighten it just try it out and uh, see how natural it looks but the most important thing is for the bottom one not to be tightened because that's where um, that's the part that you can probably most see to make it more invisible 
you can't tighten it too much. So I hope you guys try it out and see for yourself how you can make your short ponytail look longer. Longer by just an illusion. And during the winter time, like right now, it's super cold in New York, so I don't do wash and goes that often. So this kind of saves me from doing a wash and go and waiting forever for my hair to dry and then go out. So uh, yeah, this is what I would do to save myself from not washing my hair right now and just getting my hair out of the way and still looking cute. Speaking of winter, this is the type of hairstyle that you can still wear a hat with for those really, really cold days. For example, I have my little big uh, beanie thingy here, which I did a little tricky thing. I took a, some shoelaces and I put them through this. So I took green shoelaces. You don't have to take green. You can buy yourself some gray ones. And through these knitted uh, little parts, as you guys can see here, the shoelaces kind of fit and it's like you're sewing through it kind of and then once you get to the back part just tie it like you normally would with your laces and that gives your uh, hat a bit more of a hold on your head because this hat was super loose but I love it and I just didn't want to like you know do nothing with it so this is what I did I put some shoelaces through it so my point was that with this hairstyle you can still wear a hat and look cute especially with fringe bangs towards the front you can basically just put on your hat like you normally would. Well, I like to just pick up my hair and put it all in my hat and then kind of stiff it. That's what the side looks like. And then when you take it off, your hairstyle is still intact. So I really hope you guys found this helpful for a very easy and fast hairstyle that um, you guys, anyone can do really, no matter what hair type. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.